Welcome to the Thargoid Report. I'm Commander Burr. This is a distillation of the excellent weekly thread from Burton Simmons on Reddit. For finer details on the why and the what of the Thargoids activity then do please give that post a look. I've linked it below. If you find this information useful and enjoy our content then please consider giving the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to make sure you see all our future videos. The following stations suffered attack by Thargoids this week and are currently on fire and subject to ongoing rescue operations. Bradfield Ring in HR826 Carroll Station in Opet Slackagers Hangout in Exegus Foam Gateway in HIP 16607 Zebroski Orbital in HIP 17272 Links to my previous videos on this subject are below. If you are going into a burning station bring all the heatsinks. If you're looking to attack Thargoids then scout vessel infestations are being reported by the Eagle Eye Sensor Network in the following systems. Erlongs Obamumbo LDS883 Jadumlia Ungobe Nukuang If you are engaging in anti-Thargoid scout combat operations you don't necessarily need specialised equipment but the entry level anti-xeno weaponry requires no unlocking and it really helps. The scout class vessels also count as elite ranked ships so this is an excellent way to level up your combat rank. Thanks to colossal efforts by the anti xeno pilots across the bubble this week a full 14 systems were cleared of the green meanies and the expanding list of Thargoid incursion systems has now been reduced to just 5. Huge congratulations to everybody involved. For those more hardcore combat zone encounters the following systems are under Thargoid incursion right now and will have combat zones that offer both scouts and larger Thargoid vessels. HIP 16607 OPET HR 826 HIP 17272 and Exegus and that's it. Nothing else. Just those. For the scouts and the death daisies I'd recommend decontamination limpets are added to your standard arsenal and you might want to think about taking shed loads of heat sinks as well. The cone sector critters will struggle to track you when you're cold. With the assistance of the AXI discord all the systems I've listed this week are now presented in priority order. If you're looking to wing up with other commanders then I've included links below to the AXI, the Hive, the Hand and the Squadrons of Humanity. Between them these organisations have all platforms covered and will help you find advice as well as comradeship. Wherever you go commanders remember pick your fights with care. If you want to help with the cleanup from previous attacks and help to get stations back online then please visit links to the amazing Operation Ida in the description below. Ida coordinate the rebuilding efforts for the wider galactic community and will have you covered on where to go and what to bring with you. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. You can also find us on Twitter, Patreon, Discord and Instagram. Links to all those are in the description below and I'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs may all your hype addictions be brief. Don't let the terror triffids give you nightmares. I very much look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.